Hello girls, back again. Just gonna whip up some zucchini soup and then I'll later on I'll do a cake. These are from our veggie patch. Lovely looking handsome zucchini there. And another one. Um, straight out of the garden, just pick them straight away. So we've got zucchini soup up on the menu and it's saying what we need, which I already have ready. And away we go. So it says a 50 gram brown onion, cut in half. So if it fits in the hole, it goes in the bowl. So it's cut in half. Uh, one garlic clove, I'm gonna add three because I like a bit of garlic. Uh, put the mixing bowl lid in, next. So turn the speed to five. Okay, it's just chopped all that. So I'll give you a look at that. That's it, chopped. One chopped onion and garlic. Too easy. Put the lid back on. Next, scrape down the sides of the bowl. Take the lid off and scrape it down with the spatula. It comes with a spatula you can stick through the cap of the mixing hole. It's got a limited, um, limited reach so you can't get into the blade. That's it there. So you can use the spatula while it's moving and cooking. And this is also the butterfly whisk that does egg whites for pavlovas and omelettes and all that sort of thing. That all comes with it. Um, but I'd really like to have a look at what I'm doing when I'm scraping down the bowl. So I take the lid off and do it that way. Entirely up to you. Sometimes I use the other spatula, um, depending on what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put this bit of zucchini in that I have left from the other day. And this bit. And I need 500 grams. So just chop it up. There we go. And you can't get any fresher than that. Just walked out the back and took it off the, off the vine. Oh, stop. 510, I'll just add that extra bit. Not gonna hurt. The more the better. Next, it's asking for 500 grams of water. So we'll just pour, being a bit careful to let it catch up. Otherwise, it's easy to over pour. 480, 490, 500. Next, one vegetable stock paste, one tablespoon. That's my vegetable stock again, which I keep using. So it's referred to in a lot of recipes. You could use cubes, I would imagine, but I wouldn't um, think it would turn out as tasty. That's that. Half a teaspoon of salt from the salt pig that the camera's leaning on. And a pinch of pepper pepper out. So pepper grinder is still with Mick at the moment. Measuring bowl back in. Selected as pink one. It's now going to cook for 15 minutes. So um, I'll come back to part two once it's done.